It's eight o'clock and BBC One joins viewers from 19 countries who are competing live in Sweden for the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> Welcome to the 30th annual running of the Eurovision Song Contest. Coming to you this year from Sweden, from Gothenburg. Or as that charming Swedish lady told me on Wogan last night, Björnbui. Not to be confused with Björnbui. Somebody in this morning's papers referred to the Eurovision as a mixture of jingoism and jingles. Well, the jingle bit's appropriate, if a little harsh, but not the jingoism. There was a time when the capitals of Europe would be deserted on every dog and divil on the big night. Not anymore, it's just a bit of homely fun now. However, there are 19 countries taking part this year, and eventually this contest will be seen all over the world by an estimated 400 million people. Yot the boy. This is the Alvesborg Bridge, which is 933 meters long crosses the Jötzerl River. I'm going to have trouble with my teeth and tongue this evening. The harbour at Gothenburg, the biggest port in Sweden. Looks best through a mist. Or is that smog? I'm sorry I can't be in Gothenburg. Particularly as I hear that it's six degrees centigrade there and the snow on the ground. Statue of King Gustav Adolf II of Sweden, the man who founded the city. This is the Skansen the Kronen fortification built in 1697. And these? World War cars. Because they're all built here in Jutebui. Gothenburg by night. Oh, I wish I was there. This is the Scandinavium, where the whole shooting match is taking place. The biggest indoor arena in the Nordic country, center for sport and entertainment. In September, the Davis Cup final between Sweden and the US was played. There's about seven and a half thousand people in the hall. Ladies and gentlemen, my Damen und Herren, Mesdames et Messieurs, your presenter, Miss Lil Lindfors. It's old Lil Lindfors, all singing, all dancing. She's probably done all the flower arranging. And I understand she took the tickets on the way in and painted the set. And she's going to sing for you before the Eurovision. My mind is building bricks of music, and music's building me a home. My voice is moving into you, sir. Cause joy is always happier in song My house is built from joy and music And that's the way a house should be A swinging bar makes everything amusing So come in and join the singing now with me My house is seven stories high Every octave has a floor For a chimney I have a clarinet and a happy major guards my door. One room is pitch black in the evening, but swings are lighting up the day. A scale is going through the ceiling, a minor step can take you all the way. My joy is building bricks of music, and music's building me a home. A tune sound best in good acoustic. My walls are looking after every tone. My house is built by many hands, growing slowly by the cord. Together we make an harmonies. So now you know what joy is for. To build yourself a house of music. It's all oh so easy when you find out how. Oh, 
Thank you very much. Tack så mycket. Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, meine Damen und Herren, welcome to a very special evening coming to you from Gothenburg, Sweden. As you all know, music knows no boundaries, and that is especially true tonight, because we will all be listening to music from 19 different countries. And even if you have trouble understanding the language, let me assure you, that music has a language of its own. Which gives me the perfect opportunity to introduce you to our magnificent orchestra under the direction of Kurt Erik Holmqvist. Kurt Erik Holmqvist. He's conducting an orchestra of 48 players, most of them from the Gothenburg Symphony Orchestra. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're really great. The orchestra is really great. In, uh, in exactly two hours and in about two hours and 37 minutes, we'll be celebrating a new winning song for Europe. And this is really a special festival because in fact it is the 30th, oh that's a nice word for a Swede to say, 30th <laughs> Eurovision Song Contest. And ladies and gentlemen, here tonight, as guest of honor, I have the pleasure to introduce you to the singer of the very first winning song, Eurovision Song Contest, Miss Lis Asia. Lis Asia won in 1956. The song is refrain. She won for Switzerland. And they haven't had a win since then. The year was 1956. The song, titled Refrain, was composed by Gio Vumar and lyrics by Emile Garda. And that brings us to something that we would like to do. We would love to bring those, the composers and the lyric writers, bring them a little more into the spotlight. And there they are somewhere here sitting, nervously waiting for me to start the proceedings. Yes, are you over there? Ah, fine. 
You will all be meeting them again later on individually before each of their songs comes up. Oh, I know, I know, it's almost worse sitting down there than being up on stage because there's nothing you can do but sit and wait and smile. <laughs> well, I mean, they're the reason that we're here tonight. And we, uh, during this exciting week of rehearsals and preparations, we have been following, well, I haven't followed, but our cameras have been tagging along behind these talented boys and girls that are the reason that we're here tonight. And that 600 million people, 600 million and one, hi mama, <laughs> are tuned into this show. Oh, I gotta tell you, even beside the participating countries, we also have Australia, Iceland, Holland tuned in, and there might be other countries that we don't know of. <laughs> and we all have one burning question in common. Which song is going to win? So let's find out. Last year, lots were drawn to determine the running order of the countries and the honor of opening the 1985 Eurovision Song Contest has gone to Ireland. Composer and lyric writer, Brendan Graham, and you will meet him in a film. I don't believe it, we're starting. It's the Eurovision Song Contest, it started. That's old Brendan Graham, one of Ireland's most successful and prolific songwriters, jogging about Gothenburg. Now, the Irish song has an advantage, being the first song. Vicky Watson won from that position, for the song for Europe. Herries won it last year for Sweden, from being the first song, so it's not a disadvantage. He's overlooking the harbour of Gothenburg from a statue called the Seaman's Wife, waiting by the harbour since 1932. I don't think he's coming back now. Brendan Graham wrote the text and the music. Maria Christian's going to sing the song. The name of the song is something I suppose we've been doing all week. Wait until the weekend comes. Singer is Maria Christian, conducted by Noel Keelan.
is nerve-wracking to be the first singer in the Eurovision Song Contest. Maria Christian did very well for Ireland. Wait until the weekend comes. 20-year-old from Dublin, Maria Christian. This is the Kronhuspadarne, the crown shops. But the idea of these films is to show off the songwriters, because it is a song contest. This is a living museum housing a number of different traditional handicrafts. Petri Laksunen wrote the music. That's old VP Leto who wrote the words. The Finnish entry this is There is life on earth. Ela kuin, ela ma. You've never seen so much diuresis in your life. It's like an outbreak of measles. It'll be sung by Sonja Nuba. And the song from Finland is called Ela Kön Elama, which means let life live, vive la vie. It's sung by Sonja Lumme and conducted by Ossi Runne. drama for you. That's the Finnish entry. There is life on Earth. You haven't seen the television centre here on the weekend. But the 22-year-old Somme Lumiere. Who? It's Kew Gardens. No, I tell a lie. The Palm House in the Good Grief. Fradsgut Vereinigungen, the Gardening Society in Gothenburg. Built in 1878. This is Lia Vichy Piluri. We'll be singing for Cyprus, It's Too Late Now. Ta Katalava Arga. I loved you, I held you in my life, you are gone, I'm drowning in loneliness. Not many laughs here. Now, Leah Vichy Piluri 
also wrote the words and the music. She lives in Athens, but she was born in Larnaca in Cyprus. And she knows a good flower when she sniffs it, I can tell you. The Trito Tragudi is a song from Cyprus and will be performed by the lyric and lyric writer and the composer Lisa Vissi, conducted by Charis Andreadis. Get used to Charis because you'll be singing again. You'll be conducting for Greece a little bit later on. It's a job lot he's doing here tonight. Σε κι άλλη μέρα χωρίς σκοπό Άδειες οι ώρες μόνοι στον κόσμο αυτό Μέσα στην κάμαρα μου σκυφτεί ξανά Μοναδική χαρά να θυμάμαι τα παλιά σε σαν τραγούδι μελωδικό Ήσουν ένα μικρό κομμάτι μουσικό Έμεινε τα αρώμα σου σαν όντα στο χαρτί Σφραγίδα ζωντανή στιγμή σε That one in the hall. It's Via Vishipuluri singing for Cyprus. It's too late now. That seat belonged to me there, the one that's empty. Now, as you'll know, this is the Evesbury Bridge connecting Yutbury to Hissingen. Just cleared it, too. That was a close thing there. Now, look, can you just see up there? See the man waving the flag? Well, that, unless the old eyes deceive me, is Sören Bungu, who wrote the music for this. <laughs> what he's doing up there is beyond... You see? I'm right. I bet he feels a bit stupid up there now. There's more to songwriting than you think. And he's waving at the man who wrote the music. Well, now, uh, he'll also be singing a bit later, Sören Bungu, with Kirsten Sigu. It'll be the Danish entry. You know that line about never appearing with animals and children? Well, wait till you see this. It's called Wouldn't You Like to Know, and I won't even attempt the Danish translation. Now, here's a song from one of our neighbor countries, from Denmark. The title of the song is 
Skulle du spørge fra nogen? Would you like to know? It's my translation here. And it is performed by Kirsten and Søren. They're also called Hot Eyes. Conducted by Wolfgang Kiefer. Very nicely turned out for the evening, old Wolfgang. Must have seemed like such a good idea. I wonder if Jim fixed it for her. Oh dear. That's the Eurovision at its best, isn't it? It's great. The Danish entry. My word, it takes your breath away. It's Viking. One of the few four mastered Bas Basques remaining in the world. Very few people can pronounce it even. This is Juan Carlos Calderon. He wrote the words and the music for the Spanish entry, but he's glad now. Steering this thing, but he can pronounce it. Built in Denmark, it's been used as a training ship. Uh, the Spanish entry is called The Party's Over. La Fiesta Terminó. It's been sung by a very Spanish person called Paloma San Patilio from Madrid. Ahora tenemos, ahora tenemos una canción de España que se llama La fiesta terminó y eh, canta Paloma San Basilio. Obviously a popular choice. Y director choice, yeah. Juan Carlos Calderón. That's old Juan Carlos. He wrote the words and the music, and he's Kentucky. Trusts nobody. This man steers the boat. Por aquí 
la fiesta terminó, dime a qué estás jugando. Amor, lo que pasó, pasó, dijimos se acabó, ¿qué andas buscando? Amor, no quiero hacerte mal, mejor no insistas más, no hay magia ya en tus manos. Amor, perdón por lo de amor, me sale sin querer, tal vez porque te amo. Dramatic interpretation from Paloma San Basilio for Spain. The party's over. Fiesta Terminó. Have we seen the winner yet? Of this, the 30th Eurovision Song Contest. Ah, Padan is the name of a popular sightseeing boat on the canals and the moats of Gothenburg. Look at that. It's a fairly dull day there in Gothenburg. Not much to laugh at. Didier Pascalis wrote the words and the music for the French entry. Femme dans ses rêves aussi. She's a woman even in her dreams. Seventeen and a half. Corner shop. The singer is Roger Pons. He's 27, he's a Parisian. These little low boats have to be that way to get under the under the low bridges. Oh, spring has come late to Gothenburg this year. <laughs> Maybe I didn't miss a great deal. Maintenant, une chanson de France, de la France, qui s'appelle Femme dans ses rêves aussi, Woman, even in her dreams, sung by Roger Benz, conducted by Michel Bernol.
was that was very French. Roger Benz and he did there. Yeah. Who's that standing? His mother applauding. Very nice. This is the Kunksturget in Gothenburg's marketplace. Large covered market built in 1889. You might know these little details. Now, everything you want is in this little market, even a man in a funny hat. A Fuat, this is. And with him will be Mazhar and Ozkan. They, in fact, are being paid a great deal of money by the hat maker in their native Turkey. The song is Asik Oldham, a weak football team. Didai, didai, die, is called this. They're singing their own composition. I try and try, but it won't pass. Days without you, they don't pass. Didai, didai, didai. Here's a song from Turkey called Die, Didai, Die. And it's written by those, as you can see in the film, those three guys. They will also be performing, and they call themselves as a group MFO. Do they? Conductor is Garo Mafian. Oh, Garo. Very nice. He's wearing that for the best. It's the Mafia. right you throw the flowers at them go on i still haven't worked out what that large plastic ball on the right is there is somebody going to come popping out of that eventually you know? well i loved that in the audience and, and indeed so did i that was the turkish entry i'm in love and i don't care who knows it now look that was a foul slur on gothenburg obviously spring has arrived unless these are plastic flowers of course and i, I wouldn't be surprised this is the largest amusement park in Scandinavia, Liseberg. 
biggest tourist attraction in Sweden. Hang on, I can see why. They wear their underwear upside down. Peter Verlinden is uh, the writer of the music. The text is by Paul Bert here, who's tickled by the underwear upside down. And there's a dead tree. Very nice. It's the Belgian entry. Let me go now. I want to stand on my head. It's going to be sung by Linda Le Pomme. Linda the Apple, uh, a 30 year old phlegm. Is it my eyesight or is that crooked? The wonders of the Lisa Berg. Let me go now, say nothing more, let me go. Dramatic stuff, this. Here's a song from Belgium called Laat me nu gaan. Sounds almost Swedish, Laat me nu go. Let me go now. And it will be sung by Miss Linda Le Pomme and conducted by Kurt Erik Holmqvist. There's the old hometown conductor there, Kurt Erik. The orchestra will play their hearts out for him, of course. Votes from the more maudlin jurors. Oh, look. <laughs> They're going off into the sunset. Has the Belgian entry. Let me go now. Some of those, our audience, have fallen asleep. <laughs> this is the Portuguese entry coming up to pictures of Hunia, one of the largest islands in Gothenburg's northern archipelago. It was already inhabited in Viking times. It's well known to the Swedes for its bread. I have a of stuff here that would amaze and astound you. The Portuguese entry is written by Toje Brito. And the, the words are by Adelaide and Luis Fernando. It's called So Sad Losing You. The lady who will sing it, Adelaide, is 25 years of age. She's from Minde. I must be the one to change. I must be the one to go. I may even cry. I do not know. The 
the entry from Portugal is called Penso in Ti, Eu Sei. I'm thinking of you, I know. Performer, Adelaide, who also wrote the lyrics. Conductor, José Calvario. José Calvario has conducted many a time and oft for Portugal. Another emotive performance as Adelaide for Portugal. So sad losing you, you're saying. It's Germany's entry next, and Germany are the evens favourite, the clear favourites for this contest. With their song, which is called Für Alle. This is the Churn Bridge, connecting the island of Churn, the mainland, to the north of Gothenburg. The first bridge was built in 1960, but it collapsed when it was rammed by a boat in 1980. And here comes another one. Look out. Oh. <laughs> Never happens when you want it to, does it? The Germans. <laughs> Young group from Munich called Wind. Ah, that's Hannah Haller, who wrote everything. Words and the music. Young group from Munich are Wind, or Wind as we call them. Petra, Reiner, <laughs> Christian, Willy, Allah, and the percussionist is Sami. For everyone it's called, for joy and fantasy, for the courage that overcomes doubts and fears, I sing a song for everyone. This, as I said, is the hot favorite, the German entry. Jetzt haben wir hier eine deutsche Gruppe, die Wind heißt, und die werden jetzt ein Lied singen, für alle, für Allah, for everyone. Und Rainer Peach dirigiert. 
He's wearing a shirt to match his name. Why not Peach? Hey. German entry for everyone. That started at 2-1 to one this morning and is now even. But I, uh, I backed my favourite last year and caught a cold and I still have it. I'm not backing anything. You never know, you know, these juries. Oh, it's very popular in the hall. And as always, that's not always, but occasionally with the draw, the, the hot favourite is followed by the second favourite, which is the Israeli entry. And that's called Ole Ole going up, up. This is the old fortress town of Marstrand to the north of Gothenburg, a popular place for sailing. And this is Kobe Oshrat, who wrote the music. This old fortress goes back to 1667. And in 1782, one of the vaults was used as Sweden's first synagogue. Israel's entry is going to be sung by Yitzhar Cohen, who actually won the contest in 1978 for Israel with Alpha Beta and Abani B. And there are marked similarities between uh, the entry this year Here's and Here's Israel and a singer, Yitzhar Cohen, who has participated several times in the Eurovision Song Contest. Conductor is Kobi Oshra. Don't waste time, Kobe. Get to the music. That's my boy. Hey, boy. Hi. Hey. 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 Hey.
השמיים ויורד לפתע יום העננים הופכים למים קשת עולה במרום שלפנים ואור שמיים הצובעים את העולם ויפה הוא שבעתיים הוא מחייך לכולם שלום. כך באים לשיר הלילה בארבע קצבי עולם. השמחה בלב לא די לה, רגע של אור לכולם. עולה עולה, השיר ביחד כשהשמחה בלב פורחת. עולה עולה, השיר ביחד גדול וקטן. והשיר גובר בינתיים, מקרב את הלבבות, מלאכים פורצים כנפיים, ונדלקים מהנרות. עולה עולה, השיר ביחד כשהשמחה בלב פורחת. עולה עולה, השיר ביחד גדול וקטן. the second favorite you see that could just win it's the first up tempo one for a long time and uh, Israel always do an up tempo number like that a lot of smiling and jumping around particularly by the audience that's uh, Yisar Cohen for Israel I must have a good chance see they play football in Sweden Hayden situated right in the center of the city has nine football fields and this is Dario Farina and Mikhail Hoffman, who wrote the Italian entry. I think that may well be them playing football as well. Elza. It'll be sung by Albano and Romina Power for Italy. It's called Magic, Oh Magic. Now, Romina Power has my vote. Don't care about the song, she has my vote. She's Tyrone Power's daughter, and she's the most beautiful sight in Gothenburg. But mind you, as you can see from here, there's not much opposition. And she's singing with Albano. The Italian entry. Italy haven't won the thing for years and years and years. Ora Italia, performance Albano, Romina Power. Title, Magic O oh Magic. Conductor, Pio Zanotti. Oh, Pio. <laughs> Pieno d'amore E qualcuno che si accorga di te 
ciao a te che sogni non ne fai ciao a te che un giorno tornerai pensando a un posto lontano dove tu da bambino ti fermavi a giocare con lei Magic of oh Magic c'è una musica strana Magic of oh Magic vagamente italiana e colora di speranza l'infinito I don't know who the fairy in the Christmas tree in the middle there was, but it's Romina Parr and Albano. And how like her late father. Romina Parr looks Italian magic or oh, magic. It's Norway next. Dear neighbours, of course, this, as your trained eyes will tell you, is an oil platform. Uh, Gothenburg used to be a shipbuilding centre in Scandinavia. Now it mostly makes oil platforms launched onto the Goethe River. And your trained senses will tell you this will be a songwriter, and it is Rolf Löfland who wrote the words and the music for the Norwegian entry. La det swinge. Let it swing. Don't let him touch anything important there. He's only a songwriter. The interpreter is R. Bobby Socks, two perky blondes from Norway. I fancy I've seen them do their stuff from Norway previously. Elizabeth and Hanne. And I don't think they're going to get Nul point with this, which is the Norwegian tradition. It's one of their best entries for a long time. Make it swing, make it rock and roll. Hard to argue with that kind of thing. Newcomer Norge. Another of our neighbor countries. The Norwegian entry is called La de Svinge. Let it swing. And performers are Hanne Krog and Elisabeth Andreasson. Together they make up Bobby Socks. Conductor, Terje Fjern. The conductors are the things to look at, aren't they? The style is stunning.
They love that in Norway. That has a good chance. That's a long mix. Not about seven to one in the betting, but I think it might be a good bet at that. A lively performance. Now the Chingu. Water. It's the United Kingdom's entry. Love is the last from Liss. Dickie Watson. Yes, she is on the right. <laughs> you knew that was James Callot on the left. They wrote the song, and she'll be singing it, of course. It's, it's suitable that they're walking in the grounds of the stately home of Churlehoom, to the south of Gothenburg, built just before the turn of the century by a merchant named Dixon. The house was built in Tudor style. An English park around it. As you know, of course, Vicky won the song for Europe. It's not the best draw for the United Kingdom here. He looked a bit depressed by it, but he's cheered up now, James. Sung in English, of course. And she's wearing the pencil slim and the, the frock with which she won the song for Europe. You'll see her on stage in just a moment. Vicky Watson will also be singing the song. It's called Love Is, whatever that is. And conductor is John Coleman. John Coleman will quickly tell you what love is. Well, if he doesn't know, he can certainly conduct it. It's been a pleasant evening Now she says she's leaving And he's too proud to say out loud Oh baby won't you stay But now she says she'll call him But she finds herself falling When he reaches out and touches her hand She turns to walk away Cause there's always a weak one Always a strong one It was a good performance from Vicky Watson. She sang her very well. Don't discount the chances of the United Kingdom with that one. Love is. It's the third favourite in the betting. The assembled press corps of Britain there, leading the applause. Give them another drink there, lad. Now then, cameras used on the mountings, on the moon landings, were made in this building by... A firm which I shall not mention, although it might get me a free camera. Among the many satellites orbiting the Earth, there is one of these cameras. 
lost by an American astronaut. One of the early space voyages. Now, you lock this lady, the Anita Kerr. And this is Trudy muller bussard who you won't know. But Anita Kerr used to have the singers, do you remember? And she's now living in Switzerland. She's half, Sw she's half Swiss, anyway. The singer is Mariella Fare and Pino Gasparini. It's Piano Piano, as it's from, from Camera Camera. From La Suisse. It's called Piano Piano. And the woman, the lady who wrote the music, will also be conducted. Or oh, I should tell you, Mariella Fare and Pino Gasparini are the performers. And conductor, Anita Kerr. Anita. I should tell you, this is an Italian piano. It doesn't mean a, a piano, but on the other hand, you can be sure of nothing these days. Du, das war ein schöner Tag. Und du, ich möchte dir sagen, dass ich dieser mag. Und irgendwann möchte ich dich wiedersehen. Doch jetzt ist es wohl besser, wenn ich gehe. Und Liebe, mein Liebe, ein wunderschöner Tag, ich mag dich. Doch Liebe. gern bei dir und du ich fühl mich ausgesprochen wohl mit dir und ziemlich bald möchte ich dich wiedersehen doch jetzt ist es wohl besser wenn ich gehe und liebe mein liebe ein wunderschöner Tag Ich mag dich, doch liebe die Mut nicht sein. Piano, piano, du so weit im Piano. Cenetti and Jeanette MacDonald of Switzerland, Mariana and Pino. Piano, piano. Uh, the home country next is the Swedish entry. They won it last year, of course, with the instantly forgettable Diggy Lou, Diggy Lay with the fellas in the golden boots. Whatever happened to them? This is the fish church, built as Gothenburg's fish market. It got its name from its appearance. Looks more like a church than a market. Ah, have you any idea what a prawn costs in Gothenburg? I've just had a report. That fella is just stripping off about ten quid's worth. Lasse Hörn, composer, and old Pling Fershman, who wrote the, the words. A perky little Swedish number called Kiki Danielsson will sing Bra Vibrationer. You give me fine vibrations, you rascal. I don't know whether it's about shellfish or not. I, I don't imagine so. It's, or indeed, underwear. It's mostly vibrations. 
Now it's time for Sweden. Title of the song. Title of the song is Bra Vibrationer, which might sound confusing for English speaking people, but it doesn't mean what you, what you think it means. It means <laughs> good vibrations. <laughs> and conductor is. Oh, I should present the artist first. Kiki Danielsson. Conductor is Kurt Erik Holmquist. Some lassie, isn't she? Or Kiki Danielson. I wouldn't discount the chances of that either. <laughs> Covering everything here. Oh, va bra vibratona. They like it. They like it. We're running out of countries. This is uh, Brotigums. You knew that already. A popular place to have a cup of tea or coffee in all your to be for over a hundred years. Oh, you'll see easily that that's Mick. He's English. And so is this man. And they wrote this music along with Mikhail Kunze. It's the Austrian entry called Children of the World, Kinder dieser Welt. 
It's the first of two entries with similar themes. The same theme, children. Unfortunate that the Austrian entry has been drawn uh, with the Luxembourg entry, which is on the same theme immediately after it. It'll be sung by Gary Lux, born in Canada of Austrian parents, who now lives in Vienna. Let's lend a helping hand. Let's give those kids a chance. A little love and understanding for the children of the world. Here's, a, here's the old Swedish flag in the middle of the Austrian entry. Yeah, let's wish our two English songwriters well. Nummer 17 is a lead from Österreich. Titel: Kinder dieser Welt, Children of the World. Gesungen von Gary Lux und dirigiert von Richard Österreicher. Richard is another hardy annual at the Eurovision. He's conducted for his country for many years now. Austria, Kinder dieser Welt, Children of the World. It's huge auditorium, Scandinavian. Normally holds over 12,000 people, obviously for the equipment and everything. It's about half the crowd here, about 7,000 people this evening. This is the Storre Theatern, Gothenburg's opera house. And of course, opera, ballet, operetta, all performed on stage here, built in 1859. They've been talking about building a newer and larger opera house for ages, but nothing's happened yet. Same story all over. <laughs> look at that. Bit of airy fun here. Oh, look, lads, there's the opera house. It's a Bernd Meininger. Ralf Siegel. He's actually written a Eurovision Song Contest winner for Germany. I don't know who those two are. Jean-Michel Beria is here as well. This song's going to be sung in French, although it's called Children. 
Kinder Enfant. I don't think they'll be singing it. It'll be sung, in fact, by a multilingual group, and there'll be some familiar faces for British viewers as well. Malcolm Roberts, Irene Shear, who's a British singer who works mainly in Germany, and Diane Solomon, who had their own series on BBC television. It's a kind Encore of... Encore une chanson des enfants. C'est la chanson de Luxembourg. Children, kinder, enfants. Maestro d'orchestre, Norbert Down. Norbert's dressed for the day. Well, keep an eye out for Malcolm and Diane. They're on the right. Of the city. Et les artistes of... sont Diane Solomon and Malcolm Roberts. Margot et Frank Olivier. Irene Shear and Chris Roberts. Watch out for this. It's a director's nightmare. Luxembourg entry, children, kinder, enfants can reckon our small brains here to try and work out what that reminded us. That was... We think it's Nola. Yes. Only one more song to go. We thought we'd let you have a cheeky sight of Copenhagen here. This is the Gotaplatzen, the end just up the road from where the BBC team are in their, their cheerful hovel. Gotteplatz, built in 1923. That's uh, Karl Millis' masterpiece, Poseidon, providing the centerpiece of the square. Takis Pignaris wrote the music, along with Maro Pizzani, with the words Takis Pignaris will also sing the song for Greece. Good draw, the last song. It's called Miazume. 
We look alike. We look alike as two drops of rain, no matter what you say. Ketora ena tragudi apo tine lada. And for those of you who don't speak Greek, I would like to explain that now comes a song from Greece. It's called Miazume. We look alike. And it's sung by Takis Biniaris and conductor Karis Andreadis. As we said earlier, Karis Andreadis has already conducted for Cyprus. I conduct the final song. This is Eurovision for Greece. Χωρίζουν πάντα κάποιε διαφορέ. Αισθητικέ ή ταξικέ ή αν θέλει κι άλλε. Θα μα ενώνουν όμω πάντα οι στιγμέ αυτέ που οι άνθρωποι απλοί τι λένε μεγάλε. That's the final entry of this year's Eurovision Song Contest. 19 songs, 19 countries. And all that remains is to tot up the marks to see who's won. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard all the songs, all the 19 songs, and your guess is as good as mine. So now it's time for the respective juries in the 19 participating countries to reach their final results, their final decision, I would say. When the voting starts in a little while, I would like to inform you that the juries will not be able to hear or see the votes cast by the other juries, not until their own results are in. So, while our technician, technicians, we have technicians working with connecting this studio to all the different jury spokesmen. We have something in store for you. You're gonna hear some Swedish music, genuine Swedish music, played by two enormously talented young men. Peter Almqvist and Ulf Vakenius, who together make up Guitars Unlimited. 
with a little help from their friends, Kurt Erik Holmqvist's orchestra. Varsågod.
It's all gone dark. The lights are going down all over Europe. Oh, thank heaven for that. Whew. Nasty moment. Speak, woman. I expect that was guitars on... Oh. Oh. They've got a knockabout sense of humor, the Swedes, haven't they? Oh, look. Hey. Very nice. Very nice. And now we're all plunged into the outer darkness again. That was a lovely moment. Well done. I just wanted you to wake up a little. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the very exciting part of this evening, and that is the voting. You see over there, for a picture, you see a blackboard. That is where all the figures will come up from the respective juries. To the left of the countries, you will also see there's an extra square. That is where the placing of the different songs will come up. And on my left side, I have a very experienced man. He's been with the Eurovision Song Contest for eight years. And he's a scrutineer. He will see to that all the voting will happen correctly. His name is Monsieur Franck Neff. You want to see this Very man welcome. screwed. It's great to see old Frank looking so good. Hello. Thanks so much, Caroline. Oh, he speaks Swedish fluently. I wish to the people concerned tonight a very good run of voting, yes. and particularly for you, a very smooth one. Thank yes, you. Yes, I hope it will be. We hope we'll get in contact with all the, all the different countries. I will now start by calling Ireland Dublin. Good evening, Dublin. Could I have your votes, please? Hello, Gothenburg. Dublin calling. Here are the results of the Irish jury. Cyprus, one point. Cyprus, one point. Chypre, un point. Spain, two points. Spain, two points. L'Espagne, deux points. Austria, three points. Austria, three points. L'Autriche, trois points. Germany, four points. Germany, four points. L'Allemagne, Quatre points. United Kingdom, five points. United Kingdom, five points. Royaume-Uni, cinq points. Finland, six points. Finland, six points. Finlande, six points. Turkey, seven points. Turkey, Seven points. They like that. Turkey, seven points. Israel, eight points. Israel, eight points. Israel, eight points. Sweden, ten points. Sweden, ten points. La Suède, dix points. And Norway, four points. Norway, 12 points. We did say Norway's a good bet at 7 to 1. Douze points. And that completes the points of the Irish jury. Good night, Gothenburg. Good night. Thank you very much. And of course, Ireland can't vote for themselves, nor can any of the countries voting. Hyvä ilta, Finland. Hyvä ilta, Gothenburg. This is Helsinki calling. Here are the results of the Finnish jury. Thank you. Ireland, one vote. Ireland, one point. Ireland, un point. Turkey, two votes. Turkey, two points. Turkey, deux points. Switzerland, three points. Switzerland, Three points. La Suisse, trois points. Norway, four 
point. Norway, four points. Norvège, quatre points. France, five points. France, five points. La France, cinq points. Italy, six points. Italy, six points. L'Italy, six points. United Kingdom, seven points. United Kingdom, seven points. Royaume-Uni, sept points. Spain, eight points. Spain, eight points. L'Espagne, huit points. Germany, ten points. Germany, ten points. L'Allemagne, 10 points. And Sweden, 12 points. The voting of the Eurovision Song Contest is a never-ending source of mystery and delight. Sweden. Sweden, 12 points. That's La right. Suède, 12 points. There'll be trouble if Denmark doesn't get a point. Kitoxi Ampalion, Helsinki. Yes, this completes the points of the Finnish jury. I will now call Cyprus and Nicosia. Hello, Nicosia. Hello, Gothenburg. Nicosia calling. Here are the results of the Cyprus jury. Spain, one point. Spain, one point. L'Espagne, un point. Switzerland. Two points. Switzerland, two points. La Suisse, deux points. Denmark, three points. Denmark, three points. Denmark, trois points. That's a relief for Nordic French. France, four points. France, four points. La France, quatre points. Israel, five points. Israel, five points. Israel, cinq points. Finland, six points. Finland, six points. Finland, six points. Ireland, seven points. Ireland, seven points. L'Irlande, sept points. Greece, eight points. Greece, eight points. Hands Agres, across the, uh, the eastern points. Mediterranean there. Italy, ten points. Italy, ten points. L'Italy, dix points. Germany, twelve points. Germany, twelve points. No Allemagne, marks there for the United Kingdom points. or Sweden. And that completes the points of the Cyprus jury. Good night, Gothenburg. Good night and thank you. With the marking the way it is now so Now I think far. it's time to take a look at the placing. There's a flag flashing down there. It means that Germany is leading L'Allemagne men. And second is Sweden. As I say, but the market the way it is so far could be a very, very and close on the third contest place, this year. We have two countries, both Italy and Norway are on third place. Now I'll call Copenhagen, Denmark. Hello, Copenhagen. Question to you, the Bor or Tesil. Good evening, Gothenburg, Copenhagen calling. Here are the results of the Danish jury. Italy one point. Italy, one point. L'Italy, un point. Luxembourg, two points. Luxembourg, First two points. First marks for Luxembourg. Luxembourg, deux points. Ireland, three points. Ireland, three points. L'Irlande, trois points. Israel, four points. Israel, four points. Israel, quatre points. United Kingdom, five points. 
United Kingdom, five points. Royaume-Uni, cinq points. Switzerland, six points. Switzerland, six points. La Suisse, six points. Austria, seven points. Austria, seven points. L'Autriche, sept points. And Sweden, eight points. Sweden, eight points. La Suède, huit points. Germany, ten points. Germany, ten points. L'Allemagne, dix points. And Norway, twelve points. Norway, 12 points. Norvège, 12 points. And that completes the points of the Danish jury, except for a special award to our charming hostess. Au revoir. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, it's a case there of hands across the category. So now you can see Germany is leading, and second is Sweden, Norway third, and Italy and Israel fourth. So it's changing all this time. This is very exciting. I'll now turn to Spain. Buenas noches, España. Espero que tienes que hace mucho más mejor tiempo en España que aquí en Suecia. Claro que se hace un tiempo buenísimo. So does everybody in Spain. So hello, Gothenburg. This is Madrid calling with the results of the Spanish jury. Norway, one point. Norway, one point. Norvège, un point. Sweden, two points. That's the end Sweden, of Swedish two points. Spanish friendship La right Suède, there. Deux points. No more tourists. Turkey, three points. Turkey, three points. Turkey, trois points. <laughs> Ireland, four points. Ireland, four points. L'Irlande, quatre points. United Kingdom, five points. United Kingdom, five points. Royaume-Uni, cinq points. Finland, six points. Finland, six points. Finland, six points. Greece, seven points. Greece, seven points. La Grèce, Seven points. Israel, eight points. Israel, eight points. Do you think Spain will Israel, give any marks to Portugal, who haven't had a point points. yet? Let's see. Germany, ten points. Germany, ten points. L'Allemagne, dix points. And Italy, twelve points. Italy, twelve points. L'Italy. Well, that keeps it all very open. And that completes the points of the Spanish jury. It may lead to war on Buenas the Iberian Peninsula, but... So, Germany is still first. Second is still Sweden. Now again, Italy and Norway are sharing the third place. And uh, then you see the rest for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Pick your own, in other words. Well, Belgium and Portugal haven't got Alors any points France yet. Et Paris. Puis-je avoir vos, vos votes, s'il vous plaît Bonsoir, Yotborg. Ici Paris. Voici les résultats du jury français. Autriche, un point. Autriche, un point. Austria, one point. Norvège, deux points. Norvège, deux points. Norway, two points. Irlande, trois points. Ireland, three points. Ireland, three points. Luxembourg, four points. Luxembourg, four points. Luxembourg, four points. Italy, five points. Italy, five points. Italy, five points. Royaume-Uni, six points. Royaume-Uni, six points. United Kingdom, six points. 
Suède, 7 points. Suède, 7 points. Sweden, 7 points. Allemagne, 8 points. Allemagne, 8 points. Germany, 8 points. Danemark, 10 points. Course, try to light. Denmark, 10 points. Denmark, 10 points. Israel, 12 points. Israel, well, that keeps the game open. 12 points. Israel, 12 points. Et ceci termine le vote du jury français. Bonne fin de soirée. Merci à France. So Germany is still first. L'Allemagne mène. Deuxième, la Suède. Et après, et Israël et l'Italie, Norvège. C'est ça. Turkey and Ankara. Could I have your votes, please? Hello, Kepapur. Ankara calling. Here are the results of the Turkish jury. France, one point. France, one point. France, un point. Portugal, two points. First Portugal, marks for Portugal. Two points. Our Portugal, Belgium going to get the null point, point this year. The dreaded null point. Finland, three points. Finland, three points. Finland, three points. Sweden, four points. Sweden, four points. A Suede, quatre points. Ireland, five points. Ireland, five points. Irlande, cinq points. Switzerland, six points. Switzerland, six points. La Suisse, Six points. Belgium, seven points. Belgium, first marks of Belgium. Seven points. That's nice, Belgique, isn't it? Everybody's got a mark. Sept points. Italy, eight points. Italy, eight points. L'Italie, huit points. United Kingdom, ten points. Say United what you like Kingdom, about the Turks, but they know points. what they're doing. Royaume-Uni, 10 points. Spain, 12 points. 12 points to Spain. Alec throws the cat among the pigeons, doesn't it? Look at that. 12 points. L'Espagne, 12 points. We did say it would be a pretty close contest. And that's the way it's beginning to look. Good night, Turkey, and thank no you No runaway much. winner as yet. So Germany is still, I've got to see if there are any changings. Germany is still leading. Sweden second. Italy third. United Kingdom is now in fourth place. Israel in fifth. And so on and so on. She's nodding off. Hello, Belgique. Belgium, could I have your votes, please? Good night, good work. Brussels calling. Good night to you. Here are the results of the Belgian jury. Turkey, one point. Turkey, one point. Turkey, un point. Italy, two points. Italy, two points. L'Italy, deux points. Denmark, three points. Denmark, three points. Denmark, trois points. Austria, four points. Austria, four points. L'Autriche, quatre points. Switzerland, five points. Switzerland, five points. La Suisse, cinq points. United Kingdom, six points. United Kingdom, six points. Scoring steadily. Royaume-Uni, six points. Sweden, seven points. Sweden, seven points. Suède, seven points. 
Ireland, eight points. Ireland, eight points. L'Irlande, huit points. Germany, ten points. Germany, ten points. Clearly. L'Allemagne, dix points. Still can be Norway, twelve points. Norway, 12 points. Norvège, 12 points. This completes the point of the Belgian jury. Good night. Good night and thank you very much. This is still, look at see Germany is still. L'Allemagne main. Germany, of course, the even's favourite for the contest. Troisième, Royaume-Uni. Et l'Italie. Israel doing si. surprisingly badly, really, and second favourites. Italy doing surprisingly well. And I'm amazed I would like to Switzerland have any marks at all. With Portugal, they? Lisbon. Could I have. Good evening, Gothenburg. Good evening. This is Lisbon calling. The voting of the Portuguese jury is as follows Denmark, one point. Denmark, one point. Denmark, un point. Spain, two points. Spain, two points. L'Espagne, deux points. France, three points. France, three points. La France, trois points. Switzerland, four points. Switzerland, four points. La Suisse, quatre points. Israel, five points. Israel, five points. Israel, cinq points. United Kingdom, six points. United Kingdom, six points. Royaume-Uni, six points. Germany, seven points. Germany, seven points. L'Allemagne, sept points. Ireland, eight points. Ireland, eight points. Ireland making a late Irland, burst. Huit points. Luxembourg, ten points. <laughs> Gasps Luxembourg, from the audience. Ten points. Luxembourg, dix points. And Italy, twelve points. Italy, twelve points. L'Italy, douze points. This was the Portuguese voting. Goodbye. National Goodbye, tastes in music do much. vary from country to country. You have to bear that in mind. So let's see if anything is changing. Germany is still leading. Italy is now second. United Kingdom and Sweden are both sharing a third place. Jetzt will ich Deutschland anrufen. Hallo München, could I have your votes, please? Good evening, Gothenburg. Munich Colin, here are the results of the German jury. Switzerland, one point. Switzerland, one point. La Suisse, un point. Turkey, two points. Turkey, two points. Turkey, deux points. Luxembourg, three points. Luxembourg, three points. Luxembourg, trois points. What about a point for Cyprus? Ireland, four points. Ireland, four points. L'Irlande, quatre points. United Kingdom, five points. United Kingdom, five points. Royaume-Uni, cinq points. Denmark, Six points. Denmark, six points. Denmark, six points. Israel, seven points. Israel, seven points. Israel, sept points. Sweden, eight points. That's fair enough from Germany. Sweden. Sweden Eight points. Regarded as their toughest. Austria, ten points. 
10 points. Austria, 10 points. L'Autriche, hmm. 10 points. And finally, Norway, 12 points. That does open it up. It's still with nine countries to Norway, vote. Norway, 12 open. points. Norway, 12 points. That completes the points of the German jury. Gute Nacht, gute Wort. Gute Nacht and vielen Dank. Now let's see what's happening. Still Germany leading. Sweden is still second. Third place, Italy. And then Norway and United Kingdom. I would now like to get in touch with Israel and Jerusalem. Good evening, Jerusalem. Good evening, Gothenburg. Shalom. Jerusalem calling. Here are the results of the Israeli jury. Finland, one point. Finland, one point. Finland, un point. United Kingdom, two points. United Kingdom, two points. Royaume-Uni, deux points. France, three points. France, three points. La France, trois points. Italy, four points. L'Italy, four points. L'Italy, quatre points. Luxembourg, five points. Luxembourg, five points. Luxembourg, cinq points. Sweden, six points. Sweden, six points. La Suède, six points. Germany, seven points. Germany, seven points. L'Allemagne, sept points. Ireland, eight points. Ireland, eight points. L'Irlande, huit points. Austria, ten points. Austria, ten points. L'Autriche, dix points. And Norway, twelve points. Norway be coming along strongly Norway, in the last few sets points. of marks. Norway, uh, second place now. And that completes the point of the Israeli jury in Jerusalem. Good Th night. Good night and thanks, Jerusalem. So what have we got now? Germany first, Norway second, Sweden third, Italy on fourth place, and United Kingdom fifth. Oh, still a lot can happen. You never know. Oh, Langer is Lil there. How Maintenant about another point for Cyprus, Lil? Italy, Rome, Roma. <laughs> Hello, Gothenburg. Hello. Ici Rome. Voici les résultats du jury italien. Luxembourg, un point. Luxembourg, un point. Luxembourg, one point. Denmark, deux points. Denmark, two points. Denmark, two points. Chypre, three points. About time to. Chypre, three points. Cyprus, three points. Suède, four points. Oh, they don't like Suède, that in the hall. Four points. Sweden, four points. Israel, five points. Israel, five points. Israel, five points. Norvège, six points. Norvège, six points. Norway, six points. Finlande, sept points. Finlande, sept points. Finland, seven points. Royaume-Uni, huit points. Royaume-Uni, huit points. United Kingdom, 
8 points. France, 10 points. Now, will the France, top mark go to Germany? 10 points. France, 10 points. Ireland, 2 points. Oh, it went to Ireland. Ireland, 12 points. Ireland, 12 points. Et ceci termine les points attribués par le jury italien. Au revoir. Au revoir, grazie. Yeah, Norway only five points behind Germany. It looked like establishing a commanding Ireland lead earlier came on. On fifth place, so we still have Germany, the first. Norway on second place. Sweden, number third. Three, number three, on third place. And then fourth, United Kingdom. And Ireland, number five. Come on, Lil. Hey, Lil. I will now call. Norway, Oslo. Hello, Guafton. Could I? Guafton, Lil. Guafton. Guafton, Göteborg. Here is Oslo with the results of the Norwegian jury. Turkey, one point. Turkey, one point. Turkey, un point. Austria, two points. Austria, two points. L'Autriche. Deux points. Ireland, three points. <coughs> Ireland, three points. L'Irlande, trois points. Luxembourg, four points. Luxembourg, four points. Luxembourg, quatre points. Switzerland, five points. Switzerland, five points. La Suisse, Cinq points. Denmark, six points. Well, we can't complain about the Denmark, way the marks are being scattered in all directions points. in this year's Eurovision Song Denmark, Contest. Denmark, six points. United Kingdom, seven points. United Kingdom, seven points. Royaume-Uni, sept points. Germany, eight points. Germany, Eight points. L'Allemagne, huit points. Israel, ten points. Israel, ten points. Israel, dix points. And finally, Lil Sweden, twelve points. Lil will like that one. Sweden, 12 points. La Suède, 12 points. Hmm. And that completes the voting of the Norwegian jury. Goodbye, Gothenburg. Good night, tack så mycket. I should think so too. Oh, Germany is still in first place. Oh. Sweden is still second. Norway is on the third place. United Kingdom, fourth place. And Ireland. Still in fifth place. Colin Berry coming up next for the I UK jury. I would now jury. like to call United Kingdom and London. Hello, London. Hello, Gothenburg. Good evening to you, Leo. This is the BBC and London calling. I have here the results of the United Kingdom jury. Germany, one point. That is not going to help things. It's not going to help things at the meeting of the great powers going Germany. on. Germany. I do hope they're not looking at this big trouble. Germany, one point. Chancellor Kohl will have a face like thunder. Un point. France, two points. It's France, not going to help it either. Two points. La France, deux points. Ireland, three points. The political implications Ireland, of this voting. Three points. L'Irlande, trois points. Spain, four points. Spain, four points. Espagne, Quatre points. Israel, five points. Israel, five points. Israel, cinq points. Sweden, six points. Sweden, six points. La Suède, 
Sepoint. Only one point in it. Albion Finland, Sweden and Germany. Seven points. Finland, seven points. Van Long. I wonder to which point. country the United Kingdom's going to give Turkey, its main mark. Eight points. Turkey. <laughs> Turkey. Eight points. I had dinner with Turkey, these people earlier on. Eight points. Austria, they seemed sober at the time. Points. Austria, ten points. L'Autriche, dix points. And the jury in London, like several others, Lille, are more than happy to give Norway twelve points. Norway, 12 points. Norway, 12 points. And that completes the points of the United Kingdom. Look at that, Pazumi. 87, 86, 85. This is one of the closest Eurovisions for a long oh, time. This is very lit. Now, Germany has 87 points. <laughs> and Norway, oh, Sweden, 86. And Norway, 85. Oh, this is going to be tough. I'm sure Ronald Reagan, if he's watching this, doesn't know what to make of it. Maintenant, je vais parler avec Switzerland et Bern. Fiche, me donner le vote, s'il vous plaît. Oui, bonsoir Lille, bonsoir Göteborg. Voici les résultats du jury suisse. Autriche, un point. Autriche, un point. Austria, one point. Finlande, deux points. Finland, two points. Finland, two points. Chypre, three points. Chypre, three points. Three hard-earned marks Cyprus, for Cyprus. Three points. Now, what about Portugal? They've only got two. France, four points. France, four points. France, four points. Ireland, five points. Ireland. Cinq points. Ireland, five points. Norvège, six points. Norvège, encore une fois, s'il vous plaît. Six points oh. pour la Norvège. Norvège, six points. Norway, six points. Israël, sept points. Israël, sept points. Israël, Seven points. Suède, eight points. Suède, eight points. Sweden, eight points. Royaume-Uni, ten points. Oh, well done, the Swiss. Royaume-Uni, ten points. United Kingdom, ten points. It gets Turkey. the top. Turkey gets the top. What? It's not a mafia vote, this, is it? There's some extraordinary voting going on, and not the least by, by the United Kingdom jury. Turkey, 12 points. Yes. Sweden in the lead. But Sweden are next to vote, and they won't have a vote for themselves, obviously. Now, Sweden could destroy their own chances if they give the main bulk of their votes to Germany. United Kingdom still doing well there in fourth hear. place. The enthusiasm is very, very intense now because Sweden is leading right now, 94 points. Sweden is in the first place. Second is Norway, 91 points. And second is, and third is Germany, 87 points. Oh. <laughs> Have an act of beat, girl. Now I would like to call the Swedish jury, Goafton. Hello, and Goafton, you the boy, Stockholm calling. Here are the results of the Swedish jury. Switzerland, one point. Switzerland, one point. La Suisse, un point. Israel, two points. Israel, two points. 
Israël, deux points. Austria, three points. Austria, three points. L'Autriche, trois points. United Kingdom, four points. United Kingdom, four points. Royaume-Uni, quatre points. Denmark, five points. Denmark, five points. Denmark, cinq points. France, six points. It'll be interesting France, to see if Sweden six points. give their top mark France, to Norway. Six points. Ireland, seven points. Ireland, seven points. L'Irlande, six points. Germany, eight points. Any bets Germany, for the 12 points are going to go? Eight points. L'Allemagne, huit points. Finland, ten points. Finland, ten points. Finland, dix points. And finally, are you ready? Norway, 12 points. You surprise and astound me. What a shock that was. I would be far from me to, in any way, suggest the Scandinavian countries are ganging up. Norway, 12 points. Um, Norway, <laughs> just a moment, please. Norway, 12 points. And that completes the points of the Swedish jury. Tack, and a year from Stockholm. Tack so much, Heido. So now the Norwegian flag is twinkling. So first place, Norway, Norvège, premier, 103 points. Deuxième, l'Allemagne. UK hanging in there in fourth place. 95 points. Third, Sweden, la Suède, 94. Germany are having it snatched away from them. Only three more countries to vote, but Austria are voting next. And Germany gave Hello, them a very Luxembourg. high mark. We'll see how they do for Germany. No. It's Austria, Austria dear. I'm sorry. Austria. Yes. yes. I just discovered that. Good work. And I can stick to English for another while. Um, hello, Vienna, Austria. I would like to have your vote. Good night, please. Vienna. Good evening, Gothenburg, Vienna calling. Here are the results of the Austrian jury Switzerland, one point. Switzerland? One point. La Suisse, un point. United Kingdom, two points. United Kingdom, two points. Royaume-Uni, deux points. France, three points. France, three points. La France, trois points. Sweden, four points. Sweden, four points. La Suède, quatre points. Denmark, five points. Denmark, five points. Denmark, cinq points. Italy, six points. Italy, six points. L'Italie, six points. Israel, seven points. Israel, seven points. Israel, sept points. Luxembourg, eight points. Luxembourg, eight points. Luxembourg, huit points. Ireland, ten points. Ireland, ten points. Who gets the top from Austria? Points. You think it might be Germany? And finally, Norway. <laughs> That's it, lads. Those two cheery girls, Elizabeth and Hannah, looking suitably pleased with themselves. Norway, 12 points. Norway, 12 points. 
And that completes the points of the Austrian jury. Gute Nacht, Gothenburg. Gute Nacht, vielen Dank. Norway is leading. That threw my political points. considerations into a bit of a tizzy there. Second is Sweden. 98 points. Third is Germany. Isn't this exciting, everybody? 95 points. Oh. Oh, I know, I know. Gosh, don't you feel for, for Lil? Well, well. Oh. Oh, Lil. Maintenant. Chapelle. Luxembourg. Bonsoir, Göteborg. Bonsoir, Lidl. Bonsoir. Ici, Luxembourg. Et voici les résultats du jury luxembourgeois. Espagne, un point. Espagne, un point. Spain, one point. Suisse, deux points. Suisse, deux points. Switzerland, two points. France, trois points. France, trois points. France, three points. Autriche, quatre points. Autriche, quatre points. Austria, four points. Suède, cinq points. Suède, cinq points. Sweden, five points. Must be out of the Israël, hunt, six points. Israël, six points. Israël, six points. Pour la Norvège, 7 points. Ooh. That still keeps it open as far as my little calculator can work it out. Norvège, combien? Je n'ai pas, pas attendu. Voulez-vous le... Oui, pour la Norvège, 7 points, Lille. Ah, merci. Norvège, 7 points. Norway, 7 points. No, I don't think points. it does open it. I think Norway have Royaume won the contest. Royaume-Uni, 8 points. Royaume-Uni, 8 points. United Kingdom, eight points. Allemagne, ten points. Allemagne, ten points. Germany, ten points. Who's going to get the top mark from Luxembourg? Is Sweden? And enfin, pour l'Italie, douze points. Italy Comment? gets it. Pour l'Italie, douze points. L'Italie, douze points. Italy, twelve points. It's a bit academic. The, the next voting is academic. Greece have to vote next, but I don't. Norway cannot be caught at 122. It's a win for Norway. Norway, men, 122 points. Scandinavia, done it again. Allemagne, deuxième, 105 points. Let's not forget that Norway was most famous in this contest in the past for no points. Two United years, Kingdom. no point, and now Sports. the rascals are going Israel to win. Fifth. And Ireland is also fifth. United Kingdom doing well in fourth place. I think Vicky will be very pleased with that. Et maintenant, bonsoir, Greece and Athens. Bonsoir, puis-je avoir vos votes, s'il vous plaît? Calispera, Göteborg. Calispera. Ici, Athènes. Voici les résultats du jury grec. Norvège, un point. Well, it doesn't really matter, Norvège, does it? Norvège, un point. Norway, one point. Good job, they weren't relying on Greece. Israël, deux points. Israël, deux points. Israël, two points. Suisse, trois points. Suisse, trois points. Switzerland, three points. Royaume-Uni, quatre points. Royaume-Uni, quatre points. United Kingdom, four points. Autriche, cinq points. Autriche, cinq points. Austria, five points. Espagne, six points. Espagne, six points. Spain, six points. Portugal, sept points. Ah, it's good to see, isn't it? Portugal, sept points. Dragged Portugal, off the bottom. Seven points. Chypre, huit points. Chypre, huit points. Cool. Cyprus, eight points. 
Finlande, 10 points. Finlande, 10 points. Finland, 10 points. Et enfin, à la France, 12 oh. points. Uh, Greece marked completely differently to anybody else. La France, 12 points. Well, the marks are well scattered France, among the various countries. 12 points. Good to see Et everybody's got a couple of marks. And as we Greg. said, it's Norway France first. Is Germany Mr. second, Arnett. Sweden third. And the United Kingdom very creditably in fourth place. Vicky Watson, good luck. Another win for Scandinavia. Elizabeth and Hannah, Bobby Sox. Norway wins for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen. Come on, it wasn't that bad a decision. What's all the slow hand tapping? Let it swing Ladies is the song. And gentlemen, the winning song of the 1985 Eurovision Song Contest. The winning song is a song from Norway. The old flag lights up. It's Oslo next year, lads. Spring in and Oslo. As tradition is. The prizes will be given by last year's winners. Hooray! I've wondered what happened to them. Ah, oh, the boots have gone. <laughs> Composer and lyric writer Rolf Löwland. He's written both lyrics and music. Where's Rolf Löwland? <laughs> We'd like to get to you on stage. Big night for Rolf Löwland. Words and music of Let It Swing by him. Big hug for Berries. to call in the singers because half 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 of them are Swedish. <laughs> no, half of both I'm of very them. happy. I'm very happy with this and I'd love to call Hanne Krog och Elisabeth Andreasson. Don't break your neck girl for the sake of see anybody crash down on the ground here. That's great. Obviously delighted. Well done to them. Big win for Norway. Did say it was a good bet at seven to one. It was only 23 points between the first four countries this year, and that's as close as the Eurovision has got for quite a while. A big Norwegian contingent in the audience, of course, and that's, that's bringing it all to a head here. Tradition is, you know what? We would love to hear the song once more. We're just going to arrange for you to get the microphones, the microphones, and the, for the choir, and for you. How does it feel? I must say, I'm honestly very happy that this happened because Norway has been last song so many times that you really deserve it. I'm happy? What do you think we are? Oh, I'm so happy. I don't know. Can you sing it all now? Do you have any breath left? I don't think that matters. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. We don't have to run in this time, you know, so maybe we have some breath left when we get to there. That's right. You can stand in now and just enjoy this. There you have two, two charming girls. They're going Could to I sing the Reprise, the winning song for Norway. Let it swing. La de Tsinge. You play the piano. That's won the 30th Eurovision Song Contest here in Gothenburg. And we 
we're all set. So we'll wish you a very good night from the Scandinavian in Gothenburg. Are you ready? And look forward to next year in Oslo. Yes, we are. The winning song for Norway. Congratulations. Lillian first saying goodnight.